Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of the stunning BMW 640D. Now, of course, this is finished in carbon black, which looks blue, but it's not. It is carbon black. You can see you've got the black styling shadow line pack on there as well which really hits out how sleek, how great, and how extravagant this awesome, awesome saloon is. Now, 640s are quite rarely seen on videos and of course on Britain's roads, but I'm here to show you all the features, tips and tricks of this particular model. So let's get started. Start off, you've got that carbon black paintwork, really, really smart. You've got the BMW LED headlights just here with the LED daytime runners. Headlight wash from parking sensors, front fog lights, and the gorgeous M Sport front grille, of course, with a honeycomb mesh in there as well. You can see on the front, you've got the gloss black kidney grills, and you've got the angled headlights to give it a meaner looking presence and a very long bonnet. Moving down, we can see you've got the five twin spoke alloy wheels finished in gloss black, and of course, you've got the bright blue M caliper just behind. Now, what you can also see is extended side skirts, lowered ride height from the M Sport suspension, M Sport braking system, and of course the gorgeous all shadow edition styling. Now on there, that does mean you've got the gloss black, no chrome, totally de-chromed, gloss black on your wind mirrors on the underneath, gloss black on your window surrounds. You've also got the chrome finish just on your handles, and then it's back to the shadow line, tinted privacy glass, gloss black B pillars, and of course, electronically operated sunroof up top as well moving around as it is at the grand coupe you can see sleek aerodynamic low styling really really smart big chunky rear lights chrome badging built-in lip spoiler rear diffuser in ferret gray dark chrome exhaust pipes and of course rear parking sensors as well now the boot you can open from one of the two keys if you hold it down just here You'll see the boot unlatches, it won't open itself, but you can lift that up and you're greeted by very nice carpet lines, well done Liam and detailing. But you've got a gorgeous amount of space in there that really does have all the room to fit anything in you'd need. It is a manually closing boot, so very gently just shut it down and you can see it does it. The paintwork again, you can see in this light there is a very strong tinge of blue, but it is called carbon black. Now moving around from every different angle, it's big, it's bad, and it's so sleek, stealthy, and just smooth. You can tell sometimes from looking at a car how it's gonna drive, and exactly how you would feel this one does from looking at it, is exactly the way it performs. Fantastic and refined. But if you think the outside was good, wait till you cop a load of what the in-store has on offer too. And as far as well spec gorgeous luxurious refined interiors go you'll go a long way to beat a six series a class above the five series in between of an m6 it just has everything you can see sculpted sport bolster seats in black dakota leather electrically adjustable they've also got memory and they've got that gorgeous quilted design you can see leg extenders as well we've got the big enlarged m badging of course on the door inlay sport pedals you've got that gorgeous deep lime wood on there as well leather all the way across the armrest harm and carden of course why would you have a bm without it white stitching dakota leather on the bottom half more of that deep oak lime wood just there folding mirrors electrically adjustable mirrors and electric windows and in the back of the grand coupe You'd be forgiven if you thought it was small. The same gorgeous, gorgeous quilted leather. Big, comfy, supportive bolsters, almost giving you a cuddle every time you get in. Of course, 
there are three seats but you're going to have to sit quite uncomfortably in the middle if you've got that there you can see storage and the air vents as well and then what you can do is you can get inside you can see first thing you've got here your auto headlights you've also got your intelligent sensor just here fog lights and instrument cluster lighting as well up there you've got that gorgeous dark out blowing wood again all the way across behind the wheel etched all the way across the center console and then you move in you close the door up top that quilted leather you can see ocd compliant really blends in and matches the lines gorgeously leather on top of the dash head up display more soft touch leather and then the nicest bit that's really really smart to look at is if the soft touch leather ornate design all the way across with the white stitching that leads past the media control and on to your center console this is all about being quirky and again six series are quite rare it doesn't actually feel that much like a bmw very similar to how the cls doesn't feel like a c-class it's just it's just a phenomenal output of sheer craftsmanship and luxury now here click the start button you can see you have the comfort entry your steering wheel adjusts to where it was last put it on foot on the brake press the button again and it starts no issues no lag no delay no warning lights and you've got the full black panel display here with the digital dash so upgrading here you can see just over at forty five and a half thousand mile you've got your miles an hour your fuel of course your revs and your speedo and your temperature here in here you can see you've got speed limit assist and you can change your options just down the bottom here by clicking the b c button just there you can see it changes the little bits just down here now what you can do as well is take a look at the steering wheel soft touch leather sculpted designed really really comfortable and really lightweight as well and there you've got cruise control with your limiter paddle shift on the left and right of course minus goes down the gears plus goes up the gears the only way to drive a 640 for me full engagement full immersive nature and total control of the gear transitions you've got the concave base m logo satin black plastic and again round and sculpted onto voice control audio source and volume control on the back you've of course got your high beam your indicators and you've got your auto wipers just down here to turn your auto wipers on and off simply click the button just here and moving across from there you can see your start stop button auto start stop on and off which is rubbish and then you've got your pro nav system here now the main features of course on any bmw a Harman Kardon and Pro Nav. It's just what people want. And to control the navigation, you can do it here with a gorgeous placed media control system. I mean, you can sit back in here and it just feels perfect. Totally relaxed, totally, totally chilled out. Now on there, you've got your media. You can see DAB, FM. You've got music collection on the hard drive, CD and DVD. Of course, DVDs won't work when driving. Liam's iPhone, you can connect to that if you've still got it, and screen mirroring as well. USB, sound, and other options just here. You've got communication, which is, of course, your mobile telephone and your messages. Navigation, which you've seen, but you can do the different options just here. And you've got connected drive. Now, on that, you will need to discuss with BMW the activation, as it is only live for three years from date of registration. You've got my vehicle. If you click in there, this is the main bit. Vehicle settings, you can change your exterior lighting and different options here. You've got the doors and the key. You can see you've got comfort entry. You've got the relocking options. You've got a speed warning. You can set that at 60, 70 miles an hour. Ideally, if you're going to use this as a motorway eater and you're doing a lot of traveling, you can configure your Eco Pro. You've got auxiliary ventilation and vehicle tracking as well. You've got iDrive settings, so your mobile devices, your language, your touchpad, which is of course this, so you can use that as writing, map, search field. You've got your different displays, so if of course you go on your head up display, you can change the brightness of it, you can change your height and the rotation, and your head up display is just there in the window, and you can see it perfectly on this phone, just there. Now what that does, your head up display gives you any information you need to be aware of, it puts it like it's out of the windscreen, so it looks like it's actually so far ahead of the car you couldn't reach it and touch it. But actually, it's portrayed onto the screen 
by this little digital box here. A very, very popular optional extra and one that needs no more introduction. You've got your control display just here and of course your instrument cluster display just there. So what you can do, you can change your driving mode, your magnifier function, you've got all the different options just there. Moving down from there, date and time, you can change that if you wish. What I am going to do, because of my OCD, is change it to 12 hours because it's just much easier. You've got your units, your sound, your notifications, pop-ups and other different options as well. Driver profiles, if you're going to share the car with your significant other, your children or just somebody down the pub, then what of course you can do is set up different profiles here and the car will automatically change to their configuration and customise setup when they enter and select their profile. Go on vehicle status, this is the main bit, you can do your TPMS, check your engine oil level, check your control if there's any issues, your headlights are out, your DPF's blocked, your cruise control doesn't work, your doors open, anything of that. And the main one, go on servicing, go on service history, and you can see the stacked service history just there. 18, 19, 20 and 22, courtesy of BMW, and we've also done a service here in July of 22 to make sure that the car has been certainly fulfilled in terms of servicing. And you've got your tele-service call if you get stranded just there. Technology in action, you can get efficient dynamics, you can see how the car's running, get an up-to-date sort of economical display as well. And you can go on sports displays. Now this is one for the petrol heads, you'll see. You've got your kilowatts of power, new meters of torque. You can rev the car and you can see it's really, really responsive and it keeps it at its last highest rate moving down you've got driving information obc and your trip computer and then you've got your handbook there as well but that really is pretty much everything aside from notifications if your phone's clicked in or you've got any issues with the car i'll tell you just there but for now we're going to put on the map because we love the pro nav now under there next to this gorgeous contrast stitching dark oak lime wood Again, sorry to repeat, but it does look elegant and just an old school gentleman vibe. You've got your air vents, hazard lighting, central locking. Moving down, you've got the old school manual version of tuning in your radio and your CD. And then you've got your dual zone aircon. So you can see here, I can have different temperatures for both the passenger and the driver. I can change where the air is distributed for each of them. So I can have it on just the feet of the driver and on there can have it all different angles. I've got heated seats in three levels, hot, hotter, hottest, for both the driver and passenger as well. I can change air distribution for each side using the fans here, so I can have it right down for the passenger, but I can have it right up for the driver if needed. What I can also do is change the temperature using the dial, auto aircon, and then here I've got the sync button that of course will sync the temperatures to the driver's temperature. Heat front, heat rear screen, aircon, max aircon, auto or manual recirculation, and of course, that rhymes up everything on the air conditioning. Now, moving down, gorgeous panel again in my favourite dark lime wood. Click that, lifts up. Everything in this just feels classy and sophisticated. You've got your dual cup holder, USB, and then you pull it down, and everything just. I, I don't know. It, it, it's a weird way to say it, but it just feels so, so luxurious. Not like a normal BMW that you've been in. Just so much more different. On here, on the leather, you can see your media control, touchpad, oscillates, rotates as well. Click the button, you've got storage. Click these buttons, you can open it up each side. You've got a phone holder and, of course, a mass amount of storage, along with a 12 volt charger. USB and auxiliary. And then to finish off the gearbox, really, really easy to use. DCT, unlock button, press it down, you're now in drive. You'll know that because it'll illuminate on there. There'll be a D in the screen. And if I click it again, you'll see it changes to S1. And that's because I've moved the gear stick to the left. So very similar to how paddle shift works. Put that to the left and you can now have either an automatic when it's in S1, that'll give you an automatic sportier gear shift, so it'll be a quicker transition, smoother, and give you a bit more bite. Or you can use this to change gear. So you're making good progress. You're at what four, five thousand rounds. Change, change, change. You want to change down the gears. You press it up. Really, really simple. Put it in reverse. Press the button. Put on the brake. Press it up. R will illuminate. 
and then you'll see you've got Big Chad, our workshop manager, walking behind the camera, front and rear parking sensors, and your reverse camera as well. Put it in park, click the button, and job is a good one. On there, Napa leather, short shifter, really comfortable. Limited traction control. Now, I will warn you, if you've never driven a rear-wheel drive car that's quite powerful, I wouldn't be pressing that for the first few months, maybe even a year, until you've got used to the characteristics and how the car handles. On there, if you do click the button, yes, it is a lot of fun, but it could come round to bite you because these can be quite excitable in the wrong hands. You've got your drive select mode here. Of course, you can see Eco Pro. And what is nice, when you change it, your display changes, of course, on the dash. Eco Pro. Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Now, Sport Plus automatically limits your traction control, so that will, of course, give you higher rev ratio, higher throttle response, and less handling capabilities from the rear end. You've also got audible parking sensors, auto hold for your hills, and, of course, here, you've got your electronic parking brake. Now, really simple to use. To disengage, foot on the brake, press it down. You'll hear it, and you'll feel the pedal drop. When you put your foot on, Hold it, put it up, you'll feel the pedal again drop on there and now it is engaged. But for me, that is pretty much everything I can tell you about this absolutely staggering, rare example of how a performance saloon is manufactured. And on there, you can also, of course, open the electronic sunroof, but we are in between showers here and I don't want to wet the interior. If you do want a video of that working in operation, let me know and I'll get you on sent over personalised with your name on. But for me, just remember, this car has also passed the 128 point Emerald check prior to retailing. That means that this car has, of course, gone through our meticulous cosmetic and mechanical procedures and process at our on-site RAC approved facility. And you, yes, you watching this video can see the results of that test on the vehicle advert under vehicle inspection sheet. Now. What else you can do on there is apply for finance or even click and deliver. So as the moniker of probably the best car dealership in the UK and being the most recent recipient of the Used Car Retailer of the Year Award, we have options. Yes, you can have click and deliver where you can buy this car from the comfort of your own home behind the very screen that you're watching this very video on right now. Yes, I'm talking to you. But you can sign up on there for finance, apply for part exchange, even bank transfer the whole amount over if you're looking to pay cash and have a delivery date requested. Or you can come down, meet the team and see what the Emerald experience is all about. After all, we are probably the best car dealership in the UK for a reason. Now for me, I just want to say a big, big thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And more importantly, we hope to see that on your drive very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. One of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust. Buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be 100% confident in the company that you choose. We have over a thousand five-star reviews on Google, Facebook and Autotrader, hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years, including UK Independent Dealer of the Year, Independent Community Dealer of the Year and most recently, Used Car Retailer of the Year. Integrity and transparency are really important to us at Emerald in how we conduct our business. We're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly YouTube show, which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates. We cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running from buying, selling, sourcing, after sales, and of course, everything that goes on over at our RAC approved workshop. Every one of our car undergoes a 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. We also service every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches its new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90-day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market-leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. 
we're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you are local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RAC group garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all-important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR, always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP, and lease options available, depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone, we're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it, here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience. And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm going to say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Mate, right, more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. <laughs> Straight, Straight million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10. I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10 then. Sounds good. Give it a 10. 10. Don't argue with 10 out of 10. It's got to be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. But I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 10. 100%. It's got to be 10 out of 10. Oh, right? That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Perfect. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> and I'll Perfect. be back again. <laughs>